Hey guys, it's Kyle. And Kelly. Hey. Okay, so I had some fun uh, this past week. I, I threw a question out on yes. on Facebook. Trying I to love your questions, by the way. They're uh, awesome. Uh, your answers to the yeah, questions. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, I was like, rephrase. hey, what, I don't remember rephrase. reading their questions. <laughs> uh, but if you have questions, feel free to post some. We'd yeah. love to answer them. I'll do my best to answer them. If not, I may throw it out as one of my questions and see what everybody else answers them. <laughs> But the question I knew, I, I've got a couple out there right now. One is uh, what were your top packing tips? But this this one I want to make is what do, do people who cruise, what were their things they wish they knew? And I've got a list here. We're going to read through. We're going to cruise through this um, and try to, I hope, I hope you find this, uh, I hope you enjoy this as much as I did reading the answers, which um, question's been out there a couple of weeks. I've been trying to get lots of answers and periodically these questions just keep getting answered and there it's a couple weeks old oh so and so answered this question in, in this group I'm in several groups and, yes and this is across multiple cruise lines it's not listed just to one cruise line it's multiple cruise lines these are what top cruisers wish they knew I don't have it in any, in any particular order mm -hmm. um, I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll pick one here um, oh wait let me grab the pen so we can mark them off okay I love you uh, okay Okay, so the first thing that everybody said that they wish they had kn known when they started cruising was how much they were going to enjoy cruising. Oh, yeah. And wish they had started it sooner. So if you're thinking about cruising, not sure if you'll like it, worried about uh, motion sickness. There's yeah. lots of people that are worried about motion sickness. Well, and that is on here. We'll talk about that one. Yeah. But go ahead, go for it and see if you enjoy it. Because I, I kind of learned in my thing either you, you love it mm -hmm. or, or you, you don't. don't. But mo everyone in the groups, like it so how much they loved it uh, we have kind of a close out of it so. yeah all right so you want to grab one of these here uh don't pack too much that was number two because our, our first cruise we packed way too much we almost had no room left for souvenirs when we got back uh so yeah uh, that that was one a lot of people said uh take everything that you want to pack mm -hmm. put your suitcase out get put it all in there yeah take half out and then take half out so that you have enough room for everything coming back because you're going to want souvenirs that and the cabins are small that that is another one that people say if my first time cruising the cabins are small they're they're not we're, we're not talking a, a room at the ritz we're not talking a hilton wyndham we're talking we're talking like dorm room in college uh, yeah <laughs> dorm room with a bathroom in it that um the best way i can describe the showers in the That's interior on the wall in the room. Well, or you, you know those uh, slides yes. where you, you get in the like little enclosure and cross your arms and then the floor falls out? That's kind of what it feels like. It's what I think when I go to take a shower in some of these. Now, you can get some of the rooms that are bigger, mm -hmm. um, but... Um, now, we're, we still enjoy it. You can still see the laughter on our faces. We still enjoy it. I wouldn't trade cruising for anything. I love cruising. We've gone on several. I'm ready to take my next one. Amen. Uh, so what are we going? But I don't know yet. <laughs> The, ba the bathrooms are small. This is one of the ones where you can joke, where you can sit on the toilet and brush your teeth and you can still reach the sink. You <laughs> have to walk out to change your mind. Um, maybe not quite that. They're not big. Now, some of the suites, the bigger, when you get into the, we throw the word suite in there. Well, because uh, when we went to Greece, we had a suite and we had a bathtub. So it wasn't just a shower, it was a bathtub too. Most of them just have a shower. Yeah. So there is that. Mm -hmm. um, so, but how small the bathrooms were were one thing a lot of people mm -hmm. wish they had known. Don't pack too much. Um, I like the Ep like Epcot, but real. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was a favorites. fun one. Yeah, they, they say it's like going to Epcot, Epcot. But, but instead of just walking around the park, you're actually, oh, this week I'm in a new country. Where I'm, <laughs> yeah. I know that's on here. I remember that one. It's right down yeah. here. Uh, um, Short trips, and this is kind of a negative one, short trips can be kind of like party trips. You want to like a weekend getaway, yeah. um, some of the shorter trips. So one thing when you're planning, Three days. I, I just want to take a short one just to find out what it's like. Uh, those, can kinda, those can kind of be like um, a party trip. So plan a longer one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, and I've heard some people say five to seven days to really get a feel. I think so. Uh, by the I time you get a real feel for the ship and get comfortable on the ship, on short ones, it's over. But on the bigger ones, you got a little time and you can kind of enjoy the ship. Mm -hmm. You meet great people. You meet all kinds of great people because you're all out there to have fun. You're all out there on vacation. 
Are there some guys that take it a little too far? Yes, there are some guys that take it a little too far. But most of the time, it's great people. You get to meet people from all over. So not only are you going to see these wonderful places that you've never seen before, you get to meet people from all sorts of places that you've probably never seen before. Uh, we met a great couple from Virginia. Hi, Carol. Hi, Kip. If you're watching this, we love to see you. Um, but they invited us to come up and go to Washington, D.C. I mean, we still keep in touch. We exchange mm -hmm. Christmas presents. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, another big one was book things. Ahead. I know this is kind of random. I'm just, I mean, my notes are... A mess. <clears throat> a mess. I love you. Um, but pay for everything up front. Book things ahead of time. Oh, yeah. Um, so I, I can check that one yes. off. And what that is, is you can book all your excursions, you can prepay your gratuities, um, you have all your destination itineraries set, and you... Drink packages. Dr drink package, spe specialty dining, you mm -hmm. can book all of that ahead, to, ahead of time and pay for it. And then when you take your trip, it's already done where when you're traveling on land, um, you know, you'll have a restaurant here you'll eat at one night. And then another night you're here and you're worried about the tab. A lot of your food can all, like main dining rooms on Royal Caribbean, which is where our experience is, is on Royal Caribbean. <clears throat> but Norwegian, Carnival, all this is pretty much an industry standard that the main dining room is um, is paid for mm -hmm. ahead of. That's part of your cruise fare to get on the ship. And the dining hall, we're not talking pros, guys. We're talking like five star. It's it's amazing. Well, I say at very least four star. Very. Least. Now there is a buffet in most cruise lines that it is like a buffet. The food the food's good. Don't get me wrong, yeah, it's but really it good. it's not the same level as the main dining. No, um, not by any stretch. And another thing that people want it since we're on dining and di I'm a foodie guys I'm a foodie I, I have to really bring it in because oh my gosh but on cruises I, I go a little nuts thinking who counts on our last cruise anyway so everything with your dining plan is already paid for so if you want to have two steaks you can have two steaks it, if you want to have double desserts you can have double desserts in the main dining now there's specialty <laughs> dining that's the specialty different dining, no. uh, but okay main dining. So we're we're gonna run on some of these others a mm -hmm. little quicker. Uh, how cheap they are. Oh, yeah. Some people didn't realize when you break it down, and I've kind of touched mm -hmm. on this already. Yes, you have. But when you break down your hotel, your travel, your meals, all of it together, cruising is such a bargain, guys. It's such a bargain because, like you said, you, you're not going to every individual restaurant. You go to, it's the same restaurant every night, but that's also awesome because you get to know your waiters, your wait staff, and they are fantastic. Oh. The wait staff is fantastic. All we're seeing is the top of your head. Sorry, I'm trying, <laughs> to read, I'm trying to read through my notes and you're sitting here checking things off real quick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, okay, so <laughs> some other big quick tips here. If you're planning a cruise, what are some things you need to know? Number one, don't, if you're gonna fly, it needs to be a one stop, oh, yeah. no stop, a direct flight to the cruise terminal term, or cruise city. Mm -hmm. um, if you're having multiple layovers, and I'm not gonna name any specific airports, DFW, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Notorious for layovers. For layovers. Mm -hmm. I don't know about JFK. Uh, we did have some issues at O'Hare. Mm -hmm. um, travel the day before and get a hotel. Yes, it's an extra expense. But, but if you miss the boat, piece of you missed the boat. You missed the boat. Um, they're making wake, you're too late. Yeah. So travel the day before, get a get a hotel, have everything paid for ahead of time. Um, okay, people are worried about seasickness. Um, she touched on it briefly. The stabilizers on the ship, she she can get motion sickness. I can. But on the I'm ships, terrible in planes. Terrible in planes. Um, but on cruise lines, not at all. Now. There are some people that do, and if you are a person, you know you're very prone. Uh, some people say that the patch is behind the ears, mm -hmm. but other people warn there are some side effects sleepiness. to those. Sleepiness, some people say water retention, the ankle mm -hmm. swelling, uh, or there's a classic Dramamine, Bonning. Uh, the pressure bracelets, you can also use those. So there, if you know about those, you can take some of the travel medicine ahead of time, uh, and then if you don't need it, stop taking it. Um, We've never had an issue with it, but those are there. You get great shows. They're a Broadway quality, guys. Really, 
man. Awesome. And a lot of times they'll have headliners come on. We've seen oh, several yeah. comedians or smaller groups that wanted to go on a trip and they wanted to share their talents. I think that acapella act that we said, That's, Mosaic. Mm -hmm, Mosaic. That was it. Was amazing. Um, okay. Put your suitcases under the bed. Our first cruise, we didn't know where do you put the suitcase? Where do you put the suitcase? We tried to put we put them in the closet. It's like I don't have any closet room. My grandmother, who liked to cruise later, said, "Put them under the bed." Well, there was stuff under the bed. Tell them to take it out. Put your suitcase there. So if you need somewhere to put your suitcase, if you travel with a carry on, highly recommended travel with a carry on. <coughs> put it inside of your bigger bag. Slide it under the bed. Yeah. Done. Okay. Well, and she traveled with a lady who brought clothes that she could throw away, and so the lady, she'd throw all her clothes away, and she would come back with suitcases full of souvenirs and no clothes. So that t-shirt that's <laughs> just about worn out, you don't like, you don't want to wear anymore, she would wear it and then psh, off it go. The socks that have one hole, not quite enough for your toe to go all the way through, but you need to get rid of it. <laughs> forgot about Martha, didn't she? <laughs> I did. I did. Oh. Okay, another one is take lots of either one or five dollar bills for tipping. Oh, no. um, some people said tip your, which the cruise line staff works amazing and they mm -hmm. deserve their gratuities. Um, but some people said tip them all along, not just at the end and you'll get better. We get great service yeah, regardless. anyway, but they said tip them along the way. So there's something and if you have singles or fives um if you get a taxi like in mexico the government sets the taxi price if you want to pay for your trip and it's seven dollars you give them a 10 they won't make change so they got a three dollar tip mm -hmm. but you may be fine with but if you're not if you only have a 20 and they don't make change sorry um uh, yeah they got a bigger tip yeah. okay um cruise insurance mm -hmm. For me, yes, it's a little more money through the commissions as a travel advisor, but cruise insurance for you can save you a lot of money and then worth it. If something medically happens and it's outside the US, your insurance won't cover it. Cruise insurance, that's, I mean, that was one of the big ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, things change. Guys, this is one of the positives or the negatives. Things change. When we took our uh, tour for Greece, we were so excited to go to Mykonos. We were going to make some mosaics with some monks, and we were going to go to the vineyard, and, but we couldn't go to Mykonos. The winds were too high. It was almost hurricane, he's corrected me on this, almost hurricane-like conditions. The seas were really rough, the winds were really high. Um, but they got us a chance to go to Olympia, mm -hmm. and we got to go to Olympia instead. I, would I like to go back to Olympia? Probably not. I got to see a lot of the highlights, and that's one of the beautiful things about cruising, too, is you go and see a place, and you say, hey, I might like to go back there. Athens. Athens would be fantastic. <laughs> anyway, but then the places you don't want to go, you've seen mm -hmm. Olympia, seeing the first side of the first Olympics, running the first <laughs> Olympic track. <laughs> um happy to have seen it yeah. um, but when they change they're making the changes for, for your, safety. your your safety right now with all that's going on over in Russia and over there some of the cruise lines have canceled itineraries in Alaska due to a mudslide itineraries got canceled guys let's really be honest here do you want to go see somewhere that you really can't get off the ship because of a mudslide or you're going to be fighting rough seas on a tender? Yeah. If you don't know what a tender is, is tender's one of the... It's a blow-up boat. Well, no, it's not a <laughs> blow-up boat. It's one of the... the uh, it can be one of the life uh, lifeboats that they set down and take you to and from the, the mm -hmm. pier yeah. so you can get off the cruise ship and go do your excursions. They can be, they use those for that. So yes. they get used and they're still in good working order. Mm -hmm. If an, if something happens to the ship and they need to use them, they know they weren't because they use them. them. But it it's a smaller ship. It's rougher. It's not ideal. Tendering's yeah. okay. It's, or they rent local um, ships mm -hmm. to get you to and from small local ships to get a handful of people off the ship and on the ship and on the ship. Oh, anyway, you get the point. Um, 
you don't really want to do it then when you get on the pier the piers all covered in mud or there's hostile situations going on that your life could be in there they don't want to do that so they're going to change the itinerary and guys there have been videos posted don't be the americans posted in the videos that are just we need a rebound we need a don't don't be those don't be those if you if you want to go see the world the biggest thing you can do is be kind and it's not something that we learned on our first cruise. It's just something that we as people do. But we've noticed a difference between how we're treated when we're kind and how other people are treated when they go, hey, you, I need a drink. It's just be kind. So we told, and there's a, I've got a picture I can throw out. Well, we ran into our head waiter getting back on the ship where oh, he had yeah. spent a day, he had spent a day at port going to eat he was from india originally mm -hmm. and he had gone to eat in cozumel at an indian restaurant yes. they serve indian food on the ship but he goes it's not the same you get someone else to cook it different than the same thing we cook on the ship all the yeah. time yeah. it slipped out that her and my oldest son love indian food we love curry we love that curry. that night at dinner because we'd be being kind of not to mention they give great service anyway he had special Indian food prepared for them on the ship. It was really good. The chicken tikka masala was amazing. They had a lentil curry. That was a it was a bean curry. They yeah, a bean curry. So good. And a fish curry. The fish and, curry was not my favorite, but oh my god. But it wasn't was so on really the good. it wasn't on, on the, the menu. menu that night in the main dining room. But he had it made when he found out they liked it. And we ran into him on the ship. And the people, I think she touched on it. The people we met, we ran into one couple. Uh, a family trying to take a big family picture on the staircase on oh, the Liberty yeah. of the Seas. And I, I stopped and their skin color was different than mine. And anymore that can be a big well, it topic. it can be a point of contention. It can, it can be. be. And they seemed a little hesitant when I stopped and I said, would you like me to take your picture? Yeah. And there was a look of like, really? <laughs> Give me that phone. <laughs> Get, Get up, up there. there. And they got up there and we got to talk and we had the greatest oh, conversation, conversation afterwards yeah. and I took a picture for them. I took several, some of them I did in some weird angles. They're like, what are you doing? You're crazy. And then I showed them the picture. I got lower so I could catch the background and they were like, thank you. We had a great time. You meet so yeah. many great people. I know we talked about that before, but that was one thing that several times. Okay. Other things to know about getting on a cruise ship. Know your phone plan. If you have an international plan, know where it covers. Uh, if it's the U.S. and it has Mexico and Canada, know that. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting along in the video, so I'm trying to rush. Uh, have a highlighter so you can highlight all the things you want to do on the cruise planner or the daily plan or whatever they call it on the on your particular uh, cruise line you use. Mm -hmm. uh, no irons yes. and no extension cords on ships. Those are some packing. No power. No power strips. No power uh, strips. They're fire hazards. You don't want to be at sea and then have a fire. And there's a whole there's a whole ser uh, video I found on YouTube about the fi a fire on the Princess Star. I think it was. I may be wrong on that. If I am, I'm sure someone's going to tell me. Um, <laughs> but don't want that happening. So they they can provide you the things you need. Mm -hmm. um, if you need an extension cord for a breathe. Um, Breathing machine, I, I know that's wrong. Nebulizer. Ne a nebulizer, um, one of those things you wear when you sleep. Um, there you go, thank you. Um, guys, I think we've hit, those are the top things that cruisers who have been cruising a while, those are the top things they said. Um, if you like this video, want to see more, watch some of our others, hit that subscribe sure. and like button. Yeah. Um, We're also on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, places you have to see travel. If you want to book a trip, use a travel advisor. If you're not sure why, we've got a video for that. that too. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thank y'all.